Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail, we are actually back with another truck video. Now, last video I posted my first pretty much like full video about the truck, and a lot of you guys seemed to like it. Some of you guys didn't, but while I'm doing some work on the truck, I might as well record it for you guys. But as you guys can see behind me, uh, we got a package in the mail, and I also have another one on the way, which we will be installing in this video as well. So I do want to go ahead and unbox this and put it on today, and then hopefully the other package will be here tomorrow. But before I begin, I just want to go ahead and say sorry for not uploading for the past couple days. It's been really cold. I've been busy with school, everything like that, and all the bikes are just honestly just running fine. <laughs> but in about five days or so, videos are gonna be picking up quick, and I'll tell you guys why once uh, that time comes, but just be on the lookout for that. I'm super excited. So guys, let's get started and open up this box, uh, make sure it's the right one, and then we'll go ahead and get to installing it. And also one more thing, I did uh, end up modifying the exhaust that we modified in last video, and I'll update you guys with that uh, while we're putting this on. This box is insanely light, it honestly feels empty. Oh, I thought it was empty for a second. Ooh, but here it is. So this right here, um, some of you may not recognize, but this is actually a high temperature shield. It's an, an adhesive shield with like aluminum type side. It would stand almost 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason I bought this is because on the truck, the muffler rattles up uh, against the frame. So I do want to go ahead and slide this between there. And I did obviously make sure that this won't catch fire or anything. A couple companies did recommend this to me and say this would be perfect for the job. So guys, let's go ahead. I'm gonna fire up the truck and it sounds way different than last time you guys heard it. I think it sounds way better, but we're gonna go ahead and put it up onto the ramps so we can get started on installing this. So we come on over to the truck. If you guys remember, I did just have the muffler just dumping out. I didn't have anything uh, you know, for the outlet on the muffler. And it may, it did sound kind of cool, but I drove it for a little bit and the drone inside was like actually unbearable. So what I did to fix this was, I ran the exhaust all the way back to uh, where it came out originally. And I did have to add in some new pipe, as you guys can see back there a little bit. Yeah, right back there. Because the new muffler is way smaller than the old one, but it does sound way better, so. Let's do a cold start. It is basically like quiet in here. It is warming up, so it is idling way higher, but there is absolutely no drone at all at any RPM, which is super nice. And it does have a nice tone from in here while I'm driving. Uh, there's no, like it sounds like it's coming from outside. It doesn't sound all up in my ears and everything like that. And I'm definitely really happy that it ran the pipe all the way back. That sounds so good. and crawl under the truck here. Right between there is where we're having uh, our vibrating issues. It makes exactly that noise right there. So what I'm gonna do is take that sanding brick, uh, lightly just go ahead on the frame and get off all that dirt and everything so we have a nice uh, sticking surface. Then I'll go ahead and peel off the clear covering on the side, put it between there, stick it down, and our rattling should go away. So I just uh, finished putting on the vibration dampening pad and it fits perfectly. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I mean, it's not sticking that great just because the frame isn't super clean. I tried to clean it as much as I could uh, with the sanding brick, but I definitely don't think it's going to go anywhere. And it's a perfect size too. It goes all the way around the bottom from both sides, then all up on top. Hopefully this works and the vibrations go away. So now I just want to go ahead, fire it up, and see if I hear any vibrating. So what this usually did is it vibrated when I went in and out of gear, so I just got my foot down on the brake so I don't fall off the uh, ramps, but I'm gonna go ahead and put into drive. 
and I hear absolutely no vibrating at all. And you guys definitely would have heard it on the camera. Like it was pretty loud and noticeable. Sweet. And while it's running, I do want to go ahead and see if the uh, pad is holding up. Looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it off of the ramps uh, just because I do want to go ahead and do a before and after test and record inside just to see the difference after the second mod that we do. So let me go ahead, pull these off the ramps and get it back on the ground. So guys, that was a quick and easy little install, and that little rattle was annoying me like crazy, and just that little thing um, made it go right away. And I definitely know it's gone even without driving it, because right when I put it into gear, it would rattle like crazy. So I'm super happy that that made it stop. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys again, hopefully tomorrow, if the package does come uh, on time. I'm super excited to install this, and I might do a before and after of if there's any power increase. I really hope that there is. But anyway, I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Two hours later. Oh. Alrighty guys, so sorry if it's pretty dark, but I am gonna go ahead and uh, record me driving. I've never done this before. Just so you guys can see uh, the, dif the difference before we install the modification, which is going to be a cold air intake. You guys are going to find out sooner or later, but just to see if there's going to be any difference in throttle response or acceleration. But I'm just going to do like quarter throttle, half throttle, just in like second gear or whatever, just so we can before and after see if there's any difference from uh, RPM to speed ratio just kind of like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead a little warm up a little bit right now and then we will be on our way. Let's put on that, oh, interior glow. And also this is the first drive. This is actually a couple hours later from the last clip. This is the first drive uh, with the dampening pad uh, next to the muffler. So, so far, just from driving it so far, uh, I don't hear a thing, which is nice. Wow. That exhaust seriously sounds so much better. But comment down below if you guys uh, kind of like this type of style videos. There are going to be uh, definitely some more bike videos coming soon. I do plan on going to the track uh, within the next couple weeks or so. So I'm super stoked to go there. Haven't gone since summer. But I'm going to whip out the RM and uh, let it eat. All right, so right now I'm just going to do probably about like half throttle or so. I'm gonna let it shift into second gear. Now we're at 15, do half throttle. All right, there's 30. So I guess while I'm editing, I'll do like a timer and see how fast that was. Oh, can't forget the underglow. That adds about 150 horse. And then I'll see what difference it is uh, with the cold air intake. So obviously it's not gonna be perfect because I don't know if that's exactly half throttle but just based off my foot sense, <laughs> that feels like half throttle. So just to get an area about around what it may be. All right, so I'm just gonna do half throttle again. I don't wanna pin it. That's half throttle once again. And now just see what it is based on video review. Hopefully you guys can see all the, the tack and speedometer and everything, or else this will all just be pointless. But anyway guys, I'll catch you guys again t tomorrow when hopefully the cold air intake comes into the mail and we will get to installing it. So guys, it is now the next day and the package did come on time. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. It's already basically like unboxed. This is just how it came. But I am so excited to see uh, how this cold air intake looks. Should be a pretty easy install. This is probably the filter. All right, here's one of the hoses. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here, but these right here look to be uh, the heat shields and everything. We'll put those all together. This is probably the O-ring for the top pipe that goes into the throttle body itself, which is right here. Then here we have the nice shiny piping. Dang, so that's super nice. Some hardware, all these silicone connectors. And here is the filter. Wow. Oh, that's a huge filter. Dang. That is nice. It's going to be sucking in all the air. Peel off this neon. That's a mirror. Let's go ahead, uh, go out to the truck, 
and I guess begin taking off the old air box and putting on the new one. So here is our old uh, air intake assembly. Just looks like it needs a couple of fly heads for the clamps and maybe like a 10 millimeter here. And then I also have to go ahead and remove the mass airflow sensor and everything like that over to the new one. But let's go ahead and get started. Intake is off and there is a good amount of space uh, down here and everything, but everything came off pretty easily. It was a little bit of a hassle to get out this big old air box, but it's out now and the filter was pretty clean, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with putting on the new intake. And then along with that, I also need to put back in uh, this part. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it has a sensor on it. So I'm gonna put that back on so we don't en end up throwing any codes. So guys, I just went ahead and put together the heat shield real quick. So now we'll go ahead and start putting all the intake assembly onto the engine. The next day. Alrighty guys, so it is currently the next day from the last clip. And this really sucks, but I did run into an issue uh, putting on the cold air intake yesterday and I'll go out and show you right now But as I was trying to put in the mass airflow sensor I was pushing down on this and it was kind of tough to get in there because it needs to have a nice seal Obviously, but as I was doing this this top part ended up snapping off of this metal piece And when it snapped off I looked to see what was holding it on and it was just like a sealant like hot glue So I would just went ahead yesterday and I figured I'd just be able to reseal it So last night I resealed it all put it down uh, shut the hood and let it cure overnight and when I came out this morning I guess the little amount of weight that's on this side made it droop over what the zip ties are for is I just resealed it once again I cleaned off the old one put it on the new one and then I went ahead and zip tied down the intake so there's pressure being held down on it so I'm gonna let this cure for 24 hours because that's what it says it needs to do I don't want to rush this because this is obviously my intake system and I don't want any leaks so this kind of sucks but this is gonna have to be a two-part video and I never thought I had to make two parts just for installing a cold air intake, but just that little issue causes this to happen. So I'm pretty bummed out that we weren't able to get it done today, but like I said before, I don't want to rush this. So this concludes part one for installing the first kind of performance mod onto the S10. Next video, we're going to finish it up and then do the before and after drive just to see if a cold air intake really makes a difference. And maybe I'll reveal another new modification that we'll be doing soon. But anyway guys, uploads are going to be coming way quicker as I said earlier in the video. So just stay tuned just a couple more days until I reveal why content is just going to be at an all time high. But follow my social medias, there will be on the outro of this video. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends about the channel. And stay tuned for part two.